In light of recent events that Nintendo has decided that May 23rd, 2023 is a good day to just patch the most significant exploit the 3DS ever had, I will be showing you how to still hack your 3DS on 11.17 using NTR boot hacks. This is not necessary for new 3DS consoles because Super Skater hacks came out less than 24 hours after the new update dropped. However, the old 3DS does not support this new browser exploit, therefore it will still have to be hacked through other means. To get started, you will need the following. Your 3DS console, ignore that this console is in Iraqi condition. An SD card for your 3DS, the default one that is included is fine, however I strongly recommend that you upgrade your SD card later on if you're going to install any amount of games or apps. A micro SD card for your flash card, a compatible flash card, and your PC. Additionally, if you don't have a Nintendo 2DS, you'll need a magnet. I am using a fridge magnet, as this will work just fine. The first thing you will have to do is connect your micro SD card to your computer using a card reader, some flashcards come included with a card reader, and download the two files that I have linked in the description, boot line strap and TR, and NTR Boot Flasher NDS. With the files in hand, you want to now copy these files to your SD card in the correct directory. First, on the SD card for your flash card, you want to create a new directory called NTR Boot, and then you want to take the NTR Boot Flasher NDS and copy it to the root of the SD card, or really anywhere. Then inside of the NTR boot folder, you want to place bootnightstrap ntr.firm. Eject the R4 card from your PC and insert it back into your flash card. And now comes the fun part. Before we actually flash NTR boot, I want to test this fridge magnet to see where I have to hold it in order to activate sleep mode. As you can see, this fridge magnet is strong enough that I just have to lay it next to the 3DS for it to activate sleep mode. Alternatively, I can place it directly on top of the system, a bit over the screen, in order to activate sleep mode. Now we'll actually get to flashing NTR boot. We want to start our flashcard. Navigate into the micro SD card and launch NTR Boot Flasher NDS. Hit A to continue. Select your family of flashcard. And the first thing we want to do is dump our flash. We have to hit the button combination as shown on screen. And we'll have to wait for this to finish before we continue. Once the flashing process is complete, you will get a screen like this. Simply press A and return to the menu that you were before and now select Inject Firm. Enter the button combination on screen. And now you should be good to go to hack your 3DS. Almost. We still have to do some moving of files. Now we have to take the 3DS SD card and insert it into our computer. Over on our computer, we need to copy Boot Night Strap, Safe p 9 s Installer, and Luma 3DS to our SD card. Luma 3DS is pretty simple. Both the boot.3dsx and boot.firm files go onto the root of the SD card. The Boot Night Strap files, Boot Night Strap.firm, and the hash file go into a folder called Boot Night Strap on the SD card. Safe B9S installer will go into a payloads folder in Luma. 
So create a new folder called Boomer. Inside that, create a new folder called Payloads. And copy safe B9S installer affirm to this directory. And now comes the fun part. Insert your SD card back into your Nintendo 3DS. Make sure your flash card is inserted. And now we want to do NTR hacks. For this, we'll need to bring our magnet close to the 3DS so that it will trigger sleep mode. And then hold start, select an X on the 3DS and hold power. If it is done correctly, your device will now boot into NTR hacks. Now you'll be prompted with a Luma 3DS configuration screen. All you need to do right now is press start to save. And hold it afterwards and you'll be booted into safe B9S installer. Now simply press the button combination on screen. And you want to simply let this do its thing. Once it's done, you should get a screen like this. It took longer than expected for me. I don't know why, but it is done. Simply press A to continue now, and you should be booted into custom firmware. In the next step, I'll show you how to restore the flashcard back to its original firmware, so you can use it as a regular flashcard again. If you followed everything correctly up to this point, you should have a backup of your flashcard's firmware on your flashcard micro SD card. We'll need to copy this alongside NTR boot flasher to our SD card for the 3DS. On your 3DS SD card, navigate to Luma, Payloads, and copy ntrbootflasher.firm into this directory. Next up, go back to the root of the SD card, create a new folder called ntrboot, and inside this, you'll want to copy the R4i Gold 3DS backup or whatever your flashcard backup file is into this folder. Once you've done that, insert your SD card back into your 3DS. Insert your flashcard into your 3DS as well if you have removed it for some reason. And now, you want to hold start while booting up the system. And here you want to select NTR Boot Flasher. Press A to continue. Select your family of flashcard. If you get a error at this point that it's not supported, then try removing and reinserting the flashcard. But if it shows up like this, then you are good to go. Select Restore Flash and we'll see you when it's done. Once you get a screen like this, then you'll be done. Now select Reboot and test your flashcard to make sure that the restoration process worked. And that's it, your 3DS is hacked, you, you have a working flashcard, and you'll be, you'll be able to do everything you could do with a hacked 3DS. Thanks for watching, happy gaming.